Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke Loose TV. We back with another video. Hope everybody enjoyed their little um, Memorial Weekend, cookouts, all that family gathers. Hope everybody enjoyed it. But we back in Memphis. We got some things to talk about. Yeah, that part. I got some things I want to address right quick because I'm tired of these little theories that these other, you know, shout out to the other platforms. Shout out to y'all. But before I even start this, man, make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure your notification bell on, and share the video. Most importantly, smash the like button. It's right there. It's free. It ain't going to cost you. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I know y'all seen the title. I'm just tired of this little young Dolph theory that's going around. Because if you check my last video, a couple, a couple of young Dolph videos, a couple of people comment on the love. Yeah, Smoke, you know, I feel everything you say, no doubt. Nah, I mean, you you on point. Nah, I, mean, I feel your theory. I feel your point, your opinion. But nah, I think, um, you know, somebody else on another channel said, you know, I, I think that he got kidnapped. You know what? Let that marinate in your brain fight quick. They said Young Dolph got kidnapped. And now I've been hearing this theory for the last two years, whatever. And I try not to even talk, I, I try not to even touch on it because it's ridiculous. And I'm gonna break it down why that theory of him getting kidnapped and getting put there is straight ridiculous. Get that out to y'all. Let that marry get that out to y'all head. Don't even let that marinate in y'all head. That part. Because y'all bugged out. I feel what everybody's doing. We all hip hop entertainment. We got some platform that just does. The only thing they do is Dolph. I don't do that over here. I mix it up. I talk about everything that's popping, everything that's trending. Sometimes I'll go back to the Dolph case because that's a, a case that is unsolved and there's a lot of little theories that's going around that. And that's one of my favorite artists is listening to before he died and all that, that part. But the people that does this all day as far as the young Dolph case, y'all be bugged out sometimes. There's no way in the world this man got kidnapped and put there in the cookie shop at 11 o'clock in the morning. What are we talking about here? Uh, so before we even start, y'all know, let me get this copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on this channel, on my channel. Everything that I speak on is for educational and entertainment purpose. The clips and videos that I play are also owned by the original creators. So we got that out the way, but again, y'all know how I do with that. I'm just sitting here just amazed. Like, people still be really... Because somebody, you know what's crazy? I want to even talk about this. If this last person didn't comment on my last video I dropped two days ago about the dog situation, go check that out. Yeah, I see the newest comment on the top. Saying that, yo, I think Dolph got kidnapped. Yo. Oh, my God, bro. We're going to talk about this. So make sure y'all share this video. Make sure y'all smash that like button. And make sure y'all like that smoke up. There's a lot of smoke in Memphis. We got to talk about this still. And everything that I speak on is alleged. All right, so we're going to get to this little kidnap Dolph situation that y'all think that really be, that y'all believe, y'all want to believe it. I don't know what, I don't know why y'all want to believe that theory, because the theory is just ridiculous. Number one, I'm going to break it down to you like this. Number one, why would it kidnap Dolph, right? And everything I speak on is a legend. Why would it kidnap Dolph? Now, these people that's running with this theory and they putting, it, they putting this narrative out there all on, all on these platforms, Young Dolph got kidnapped. Let me tell y'all, son, y'all crazy. Y'all bugged out. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Why would they kidnap Young Dolph a day before and put him at the damn cookie shop at 11 o'clock in the morning? Why would they kidnap Dolph that morning if y'all want to say, no, they, they kidnapped him in the morning time, early morning? Why would they kidnap, kidnap him early morning and put him there in the scene at 11 o'clock in the morning? Why would they just don't do mob style? You know, make him disappear somewhere? So nobody don't know nothing. So all that drama wouldn't have came on the cookie shop. Don't that make a lot of more sense? I let that marinate for the people that want to believe he got kidnapped. Y'all bugged out. Something is wrong with y'all. And I ain't knocking y'all little theory. Do what y'all do. But sometimes y'all go overboard and y'all just go to the moon with it. Y'all crazy for that. And then number three, didn't his brother, wasn't his brother with him? 
So how the hell he get kidnapped if his brother was with him and his brother actually the one that let the shots off back at the alleged killers when they pulled off in the car? Oh, we got witness saying that, you know, his brother was letting off the Draco. Yeah, we got we could go back and play that video too. So how the hell did he get kidnapped? Yo, they just laid his body there. They shot the wit. Hold up. Let, let, let's get to this picture right quick. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Cause these people bugged out, man. And I'm tired of y'all breaking that theory up. Because y'all just making more narrative that sound crazy. That's all y'all doing. Y'all pushing more narrative in the sky that sound crazy. And you got some of these people that really want to believe that. That young Dolph got kidnapped. No, young Dolph got ambushed. Let that marinate in your brain. Somebody came through the back door and them two niggas, alleged killers, straight dropping Cornelius. Cornelius, the picture that we got right here, this part right here, that's how he got, that's how he passed away in that cookie shop. He got ambushed. And then number two, number two, number one, he got ambushed. And number two, it's a possibility he got back door from his own camp. Allegedly. Everything I speak on is alleged. Because I've been thinking about that lately. I'm not trying, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying not to try to get to that little, that little section of his own team backdooring him. But it's always that one person. You always got to watch that one person in your camp. And you got to remember the PRE camp was very heavy. Pause. It was a lot of them. It was a lot of young, sad, young, ready to go. They was on a hundred. Demon time. It's a whole bunch of them. You got the rappers, then you got their little entourages. So it's always going to be that one person. Y'all got to remember the alleged killer, Straight Drop, used to run with that camp before. CEO Teasy. Who passed away when Govain came home on bail? He used to run with that camp before too. So you can't never just dust that off that somebody actually backdoored um young dolphin dropped his location. You can never try to dust that off. You gotta keep that and let that marinate in your brain also, because that's a possibility that could have happened. But we just don't know who, if it did happen, who was the person at the PRE camp that actually could have possibly did this. So that's another theory that we could actually believe because that happens a lot in the hip hop industry. Am I lying? That happened a lot in these streets, normal life. But for y'all people to be saying, yo, young Dolph got kidnapped. I don't, man, listen, get that theory out your head. Y'all bugged out. There's no way in the world. Why would they bring a goddamn dead body to the cookie shop, bring, way, bring all this attention to the cookie shop, and they, they could just kidnap him and just and just make him disappear. That make more sense doing that. Why would they lay a, a body down at the goddamn cookie shop? And then y'all be forgetting for y'all people that run with that theory because y'all crazy. Y'all be forgetting that his brother was with him. Y'all forgot about that. So y'all telling me they just laid his body down. Alleged killers came through. They shot the glass up in the front just to make it make it look good like that. At 11 o'clock in the morning, this is what y'all telling me for the people that believe that he got kidnapped. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Y'all bugged out for that. Cause that just don't make no sense. Hold up. Then his brother was letting off the Draco. Let's get to this video. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. You yeah, see, they left him in the shots out, though. Oh, I hear man, he was my letting them up the Draco oh, loose. Oh, yeah, he was trying to hit some shit, but I would have run run down the street behind that ass with them up. Nah, look, look, look. He's so bugging right now. Why they handcuffing him though? Oh no. Cause he won't, he we won't leave. Now you got that person that said that she seen the, the dude that was with Young Dolph, his brother. She seen him letting off the Draco at the car that ran off with the with the, the last killers on Cornelius and Straight Drop and and and, 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 <coughs> and Sean Dell and the White Bears. So y'all telling me. A nigga that was winning when he died at the goddamn cookie shop, he got kidnapped and they just put him there at the window, right? That's what y'all telling me? That's what the people that's telling me that's writing in my comment, yo, I think he got kidnapped. He ain't getting kidnapped. 
He got back doors set up. That's what happened. You got a girl, Cookie. We're going to call her Cookie because y'all know what I'm talking about. Who ran to the goddamn news reporter and act like she had a like, act like she was there and the whole time she wasn't even there. Gave us a fake narrative. And y'all telling me they plant young dog body at the cookie shop? Come on, get that theory out your head. Y'all going, y'all going way up to the moon right now to Mars. Y'all bugging out now. So get that. And I hate that y'all people even putting that in the air. I hate that people even putting that on these platforms because it just it, like that's the most dumbest thing you could think of. This man died at 11 o'clock in the goddamn morning. What are we talking about here? Going to get some cookies. He got set up, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. That's what happened. They knew he was going there, and everything was set up the way it was set up in the beginning. Let somebody run to the news reporter that wasn't even there, because we still haven't got an interview from the employees, and that's how the, everything, that's how the whole narrative started right from day one, when that cookie girl went to the goddamn news reporter right away they didn't even get a chance to interview the, put the employees in the store you know why because she blocked them from even doing that that part i'm gonna keep telling y'all there was a third shooter and that third shooter came through the back door and i'm gonna keep saying it and i'm gonna keep saying it that third shooter came through this back door right here that white door that opens that's where them third shooter came from <laughs> That's what it came from. We just don't know who the third shooter is. That's the whole thing. Look at back of Makita's. Look at the back door. It's the back door that's behind there. That back door leads to back in the woods. You telling me that ain't a perfect ambush? That's what y'all telling me? Let me repeat this again to y'all. Y'all telling me that's not a perfect ambush the way they did it. These niggas came through the front, pause, and they came through that goddamn back door that leads to this white door right there in the middle where he got shot at. Remember, he got shot inside. Remember, his father said, I thought they were shooting inside. His brother was banging on the window. Yeah, because when Marcus ran to the car, whatever his name is, his um, uh, uh, young dog brother, when he ran to the car, he went and grabbed that Draco shooting at the damn shop before he started shooting at on um, um, straight dropping them at the bench the only way mr maurice the cookie the, 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 the dad when he said that man i thought he was shooting at the shop at, at first i mean he was banging on it because he thought them shots came inside that's why when he was inside with young Dolph, and i don't know if he was inside with young Dolph, or i don't know if, if he was inside the car but either way, I'm starting to think that his brother was inside in, in, in the shop with Young Dolph also because they both was on their cell phones, according to the cookie girl and to her brother also that did the interview. Young Dolph walked off. He walked off in front of this goddamn white door and got shot in front of that white door right there. He got ambushed. They made sure he wasn't going to get away. That's why his brother ran, got up out of there. Ran to the car, started letting all shots back at the cookie shop, and then turned around and started letting all shots at the white bins that took off. That's the theory right there. And that's a that's a more believable theory, to be honest. Shots kind of calmed down. You looking, you're like, oh shit, you're looking at Dolph. You're like, what the you you panicking? You run out the you run out the shop. You run to the car and then go get the Draco. You let off, you know I mean, you think a nigga's still in there, you let off shots in there. Then you go back, you start chasing the car, because the car's still going down the street. But my thing is, how the hell Maurice ain't know that was Young Dolph car, car when he pulled up? The pops. Yeah, I didn't even know that was Young Dolph car, car when I pulled up. Man, he the only one with that goddamn car in Memphis. What are we talking about here? And according to him and his wife and Cookie Girl, he's all, he always stopped by there. And I'm pretty much sure he stopped by there with that car play more than one time. What are we talking about here? Way more than one time. Way more than one time. Because if you got a picture of this, a young Dolph, now this is a picture of him inside the cookie shop way before. So you know he used to come there a lot, probably. And Maurice's going to act like he didn't know that was Dolph's car? That camouflage right there? The coupe? Come on, man. Let's go to this interview right quick. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Do me that favor. Let's go to this interview. For his usual chocolate chip cookies and ice cream. 
that he got two lemon and two strawberry cookies. So they was really for his mother. All right, so boom. You see, that's the thing that threw me off when it, when his, when 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 the, when the mom said that. Because how do she know he? How do she know that Dolph even got that order? Number one, okay, nah, she might have got that order from one of the employees from the cookie shop that we never got a goddamn interview from, or the news reporter didn't even get an interview from from the employees that was there at the moment when Dolph passed away. But hold up, he got kidnapped, right? I tell him he got kidnapped though, right? No, he got set up. So get that kidnap shit out your head. It doesn't make no sense. He got set up. That's what happened. But how do she know them cookies, strawberry cookies and all that for his mom that morning? How do she know that? Let's continue. Smash that like button. And get that kidnap theory out your head because that's the most ridiculous thing I could ever heard of. They put his body at a cookie shop at all locations, right? That's what they're going to do. Let's go back in the story and get the real theory that really happened. For his usual chocolate chip cookies and ice cream. That he got two lemon and two strawberry cookies. So they was really for his mother. All right, so boom. When Dolph pull up that day, that tend to make me think he didn't call no order in because he didn't get his usual, okay? So he pulls up at the spur of the moment, out the blue, to get four cookies for his mom. And how does she know that those four cookies was for his mother? So that tends to make me believe that him and this owner right here, they had a conversation. Him and her had a conversation. Okay? So they had enough time to talk and, and you know, and do all these things while Dolph was there. Let's continue to listen. Dolph and another young man stood in the left corner of the store on their cell phones and never saw it coming. Maurice drove up to see his workers raising their heads from ducking bullets and the young man. All right, so boom. Now you mean to tell me Dolph and this young man are standing in the left corner of the store, right by each other on their cell phones. They didn't see the ambush coming. So why is Dolph the only one hit if the young man was standing right there next to him in the same corner? If Dolph got hit over 20 times, why the young man did not get hit one time? Somebody please explain that to me. That's very suspicious. But we're going to carry on and we're going to get the full story. Then we're going to chop it up. He was just distraught. He was hysterical. He was punching on the window. and Because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't know there was a body laying there. And I thought, matter of fact, I thought he had shot the place up himself. All right. So see, when Maurice started talking, something don't sound right. So when Maurice drove up, he said he... Drove up to his employees getting up from ducking bullets. So that means he drove up right after it happened. Okay. So you mean to tell me he said he don't know what happened. You ain't see these bullet holes in your establishment. You didn't see. You ain't know what was going on. So you didn't see Dolph's camouflage Corvette outside Joe Cookie shop. So you didn't know Dolph was inside this building. Come on, brother. That don't sound right. If Dolph been coming out all his life, you know what Dolph look like. You know what Dolph drive. So you don't know there's this Dolph laying on your establishment floor dead? Come on, brother. Then you had the nerve to say you thought the young man who was with Dolph shot up your place. I, I thought he had shot it up. I, I didn't know what was going on. Come on, brother. Something about that, that that's real suspicious, Maurice. That don't even sound right, man. You know who Dolph is. But we're going to continue to listen to you lie, brother. I'm trying to tell you, smash that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe to the book, to the channel. Pardon me. Smash the like button. You see it right there? Smash it. That's my thing. How the hell you didn't know that was Dolph in your parking lot? He the only one with that car in Memphis. And, a, and, a, and according to Miss Cookie Girl, she said her pops wasn't there. None of them wasn't there. None of them. Maurice just pulled up before the Cookie Girl pulled up. Remember that. Remember when she said, I called my dad, my dad said, yeah, dog, stay, stay, stay with us, dog, stay with us. Remember, remember that part? But when you pulled up, you ain't know what the hell was going on. You ain't see Dolph car parked right in front of your damn establishment. You telling me that? That's why that dude said the same thing. That don't make no sense because everybody in Memphis know that car. Everybody around that area know that goddamn car. If you want to put it in that way. So how the hell did the pops they ain't know that? He ain't get kidnapped, so get that, get that, 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 that theory out your head. That little kidnap stuff, that shit is BS. 
He got set up, allegedly, and everything we speak on is alleged over here. That's what happened. That's what happened. He wasn't going there to pick up no goddamn cookies or nothing. Man, it was something else going on, man. He was going there to wait on people. It was something going on, man. And next thing you know, it, the, the ambush happened. Niggas came from that back door and came from the front. The photo that we got from the front, the alleged killers. But we don't get no other photos from the back of none. They don't give us no videos, nothing on the side of the of the sap of the, of the cookie shop, none of that though, right? They make sure they give us them two the, that little front photo though, right? And then the crazy part about it, they don't even know if that's straight dropping Cornelius. These niggas masked up. How the hell they even know about it? They only going by what somebody telling them. And like I'm gonna repeat myself, Govain ain't the one snitching. Allegedly, supposed to be supposed to be Sean Dale that gave up straight dropping Cornelius, putting them as the, the alleged killers of Dolph situation. Sean Dale, not Govain. It's a whole play, man. Allegedly. And everything we speak on is alleged. I ain't trying to hear that, bro. Like, it's, it's crazy, man. Talk about he got kidnapped. Then you got a whole witness over here saying that she seen two cars. Come, come on, man. Smash that like button, yo. It was some niggas that pull up and just just let out over 50 shots. I'm talking about busting. I'm talking about I'm standing. We want to go down there, baby. I'm, we sit, we at the shelves and shit. And me and my baby getting out the car. And I'm talking about before I even got to the door, uh, the shelves go open up the door and shit. Bah, bah, I'm talking about all you hear gunshots. So I'm looking. Cause me, I'm grabbing my baby to see where they coming from and shit. I'm looking and see that it's over at the washer that I was just at yesterday and shit. It's the cookie shop next door to the washer. They busting at that moment. I'm talking about busting. Number shots. Two fucking cars full of niggas. Pull up. Oh, you don't want two cars. And everybody keeps saying that it was two. I'm telling y'all, it was an ambush. Niggas came through that back door. The reason why them employees at that damn cookie shop don't want to talk that was there during the ambush because they shaking up they shook man they scared that's what's going on they got paid that's what's going on no way in the world y'all telling me that a crime scene a high profile not no regular dude that's sitting on the corner or sitting in somebody front of in front of a somebody cookie shop and they end up getting shot by a drive-by and nobody don't want to talk no we ain't talking about that we're talking about a high profile case that employee was actually at the goddamn cookie shop and they never got an interview. They never even got questioned or they never even gave us a statement. Because if they did give us a statement, them little channels that I'm talking about, the ones that just do, do the young Dolph situations, they would have been dropped the paperwork. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? We would have been got some paperwork on the employees that made a statement during this young Dolph ambush. Why are we having them? But we got somebody that wasn't there that ran to the news reporter right away to give us a narrative that she wasn't even there at the time. Think about that. Let that marinate. So all that little kidnap little situation, man, that junk is BS. Stop throwing, stop giving people that narrative because that junk is straight BS. Your dog ain't got no, he ain't get kidnapped. What the hell y'all, man? Listen, man. Y'all crazy. So don't even write that in my comment on my videos no more because y'all terrible for that, for real. For even for even having that marinating in your brain and think about that, that's crazy. Dolph got set up when he pulled up. Right when he pulled up, it was a whole setup. It was an ambush, man. That's what happened. And I ain't talking about them two little alleged killers that hopped out and just thought, no, if somebody came through that back door like I keep telling y'all, that white door exactly across where young Dolph fell, right in front of that goddamn window. Remember the cookie girl said, yeah, he, he got shot again. Yeah, it was shots inside also. That's why. I'm telling y'all, man. Stop giving that theory out here, man. Stop. Stop phone call from my dad he was in the store he's one of the owners 
and uh, he just told us that somebody was shot. We didn't know who it was at first. You know, we was just like, okay, I thought it was, you know, one of the employees. So we was kind of distraught at the time. But, you know, we heard my cousin in the background, you know, he was just basically like, man, he gone, somebody shot him, he gone. And I'm like, who gone? You know, we just tried to figure out what was going on. And then you can hear my dad, you know, he was just like, stay with me, dog, just stay with me, brother. You know, he kept saying it. So that's when we was like, okay, it was Dolph. So it was, it was kind of, it was real fast. He said it was, my, my dad was just like, it was real fast. It was a real quick situation. So we, we real hurt by it. Uh, he was a real, you know, good dude. He came to the store all the time. You know, when he, came, when he was in Memphis, McHugh was, was one of the Subscribe to the channel, share the video, and make sure y'all smash that like button. Support your boy. That's what gets me. Every time I see this news report, I just get pissed off more and more. Because there's no reason why somebody should have, let me go run to the news reporter and go give a fake narrative and it wasn't even there. Who gave you that story? The employees from the store? Why they ain't talking? I'm going to repeat myself. These employees wasn't teenagers. They wasn't underage. These are grown-ass people that worked at a cookie shop that was in the back baking some cookies. They seen some nigga come through that back door. That back door probably was wide open because it's early morning. Some establishment to some facilities, stores and Tiny, whatever store you go to that's that's in your hood, they usually keep them back doors open early in the morning to get some breeze and stuff like that in there. Throw the garbage out, stuff like that. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? And Makita's is located where, y'all? In that hood, right? That's a hood around there, right? Exactly. Most of the time, they keep the doors wide open. They doing trash and shit back and forth. Who's we to say them? One of them niggas ain't slide their ass right through that back, right through the back back door. Why it was open. The employees, if the employees was even there, they got shooken up and fell down to the floor and they told them the employees to shut up. That's what happened. And they cracked that white door, like I keep telling y'all, and I'm going to repeat myself. They cracked that white door and then you, 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 you got the whole scene. That white door right there. That's when you got, that's when you got all um, young dog laying out right here, right? Right, right across where the white door at. Ain't that something? And his hand is hanging out the window though, right? You telling me he ain't get shot inside and outside? Come on, man. Let that marinate in your brain, man. Let that marinate in your brain, man. Come on, man. Now this is seen when they when they took Young Dolph out the window. This is a scene afterwards when they got our Young Dolph outside. Now that's somebody that's inside there with a damn tank top. We don't know who the hell that is. That might be one of the employees. Who was it? Who was that right there with the tank top inside? Come on, man. That's the same window. Come on, what are we talking about here? Y'all really going to sit here and say he got kidnapped? Y'all should be a man. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself for saying that, man. I'm being honest. The people that was running with that theory, y'all should be ashamed of yourself for even trying to put that shit in people's head, man. That's, that that don't, don't even make no sense. Why put a dead Why put a dead body there if you kidnapped it? Why put it there when you gonna make it disappear? My style. What are we talking about? Y'all seen mafia movies? What the hell are we talking about here? Oh, let me just put her at the cookie shop over here. What? Man, y'all can't be serious, man. Y'all can't be serious. I'm being honest. Y'all can't be. Make sure y'all comment on this video down below, man. Smash that like button. Because these people are crazy with that kidnap theory. And that's the reason why I made this video. Like, I'm going to repeat myself. And everything we speak on is a legend over here. Dolph got ambushed and a possibility he could have got backdoor set up. Either one. It's the same thing. But he got ambushed. Niggas came through that back door. One, it could have been one or two people. We don't know. But that white door opened and they let off some shots first. And them niggas, they timed it. And that's when you got the alleged killers, Cornelius and Straight Drop, with the front video that we got masked up. We don't even know if these, these we don't even know that's dumb or not. That's how good of a disguise they put on that day. 
face covered up, everything. They don't got straight drop hoodie. They don't got the sweatpants. They don't got none of that shit. What we talking about here, man? They don't got these niggas clothes. They don't even got the clothes they had on that day. They don't got the whole fit. What y'all gonna tell me? Yo, they got a cap. Yo, everybody got that same goddamn cap in Memphis. You know what I mean? People run around with that hat. So cut the kidnap situation theory out because that junk is BS, man. Seriously. It gets me even pissed off to even talk about that. Y'all crazy for that, man. Have some common sense. What really happened, he got ambushed. And ambush don't mean two dudes that ran in front of the window. No, ambush means you come from all angles. Pause. That's ambush. You make sure that person don't get away on the third time. Because he got away twice. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? I got to cut it out, man. Cut it out. Cut it out, man. Again. Say you can't get some what? All I can't get is some Makita. Makita, cook. Get the side. Get the side. Come back around there. Come back around there. What you got? Chocolate chill. Don't hot, hot. Straight out the oven. Just for you. Appreciate you, baby. Be safe. Say you can't get some what? All I can't get is some Makita. Makita, cook. Get the side. Get the side. Get the side. Come back around there. Come back around there. Get the side. Get the side. What you got? Chocolate yeah. chill. Don't hot, hot. Straight out the oven. Just for you. Appreciate you, baby. Be safe. So I'm going to let that put that, let that marinate in your brain, man. That kidnap theory. Get that out your head. So smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and share the video. It's your boy Smoke News TV. If they know, they know. I'm up out of here, gang. Salute, man. Rest in peace, young Dolph, man.